But I started making my own recipes when I was 18 years old. So that was when I became an official doggy chef. Through the summers of when I actually attended Leeds University studying philosophy, I would sell my home-baked doggy treats all around Yorkshire at agricultural shows to raise money for me, you know, as a student to enjoy student life. It was coming to the final year when I decided to take up some careers advice from the Career Centre and I started to chat about, you know, what potentially I could be doing and you know, the person that I had my meeting with, with said, well, you know, you, you obviously don't really shut up about this time when you, you know, were selling your dog treats. And it was here that they actually advised me to have a business meeting with Spark. Again, at this point, I, d I didn't even know what Spark was, so I just know that I was going to a business meeting. It was this meeting when I actually started to uncover different routes to market for the business. You know, it doesn't just have to be a trade stand company. I could have an e-commerce site. I could have resellers. I could go wholesale. It was this particular one meeting which actually gave me some hope in what I had been doing and what I love doing, which which is how Top Collar was born. Top Collar has eight plus recipes at the moment. We have the Sunday roast, which has chicken breast, of course, a lean meat, carrots, parsnip, and potato. Our full English, sausage, bacon, egg, potato, all from the butchers. And we are introducing new ranges, particularly, you know, coming Christmas. So we do the big meal of the day, of course, the turkey Christmas dinner. And we've also introduced pulled pork, crackling and apple sauce. I have members which I send the treat boxes out to. This is our natural full English treat box, which comes through the post. And of course, you open it, there's a little nutrition card and then you reveal the full English treat. We actually have members that have developed two memberships, so all of their dogs in the family can have their very own box. Such an important part in business is having somewhere to operate the business. And, you know, obviously manufacturing is the most important thing for me, so that was naturally the first thing that I invested in and looked for. And, you know, I would actually have meetings at cafes and, and places which you know, I, I didn't feel comfortable and now I have a fantastic meeting room where I do Skype calls to, you know, other potential even investors. I have a team around me that I actually grew up with through Spark, so Jump In, we have James and Omer and, you know, I can see these people on a regular basis. We do all help each other, uh, you know, we've grown up in business together and it, it's really something special which I'm, I'm very grateful towards because it wouldn't necessarily in my head be something that I, I would be able to fund myself at this moment. I think funding and support is so important for the startup stages. And what I would really love is for you to come in, see the office and see how grateful and excited everyone is here because it's difficult for me to even explain how grateful all of us are and how excited we are to really be in a professional environment with the support network and Brian in the next office. I'm very, very happy with the situation that I'm in now. Business in, in general and, and how one would scale up very much interests me. Uh, I would absolutely love to have a cat menu in 2016. This would include recipes like the fish and chips and of course they would get their own Christmas dinner as well for the Christmas day. I you know, could actually really see the products in somewhere like China where again they do really care about their cats. They particularly really enjoy the humanised twist on things um, which of course is what Top Collar um, is very much into. Really I'm just growing my pack membership and attending shows down in London as well so I can really get some national subscribers. I do actually also do motivational speaking as well so I have spoken on behalf of Spark and I love getting people especially you know young people to understand that there is support out there and just to go for what what you want and, and what you really care about and that that for me is what makes me truly happy. So firstly I'd love to say thank you and secondly please come and say hello because I think you'd really be impressed.